your boy. I be staying and we back with another video. You know I'm rocking with y'all. Can't rock with me. Hey, gang, like the video right now, bro. Like the video right now, bro. I stay giving y'all free game. And y'all give me free game back by liking the video. So on today's video, right, bro, we're going to talk about knowing when the fuck to cut your losses with girls, right? Oh, Not tomorrow. No, 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 and when I say resources, right, I mean your time, your energy, and attention. And attention is the biggest one, right? The same way us men view sex is the same way a female views a man's attention. They thrive for that shit, bro. Why do you think they go to the gym nowadays dressed like fucking whores, bro? Wearing little ass shorts, sport bras, showing everything. Their vaginas popping out. Because they want your attention. But they won't admit it. They're going to say, oh, body positivity. You know, it's a show for gains. Bro, you can show your, <laughs> bro, you can show your gains off through fucking tights, bro. You don't got to be half fucking naked. And then when a man looks, oh, he's a creep. Why do you think it's called sexual attraction, bro? What do you think a man is attracted to? Your fucking ass, your legs. Now nah, I get it though. If you a nigga and you always staring at a girl, nigga, you a fucking creep. But it don't make you a creep looking one or two times, my nigga. They delusional. But anyway, but the first thing is, right, bro? If you texting a girl for two, three weeks, a month, or two months, my nigga, you still ain't link. Cut the bitch off, bro. She using you and abusing you. You want her orbiters, my nigga. You want her orbiters build her fake confidence. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now, bro. If you can't get a link up or a date out of a girl after the second conversation, she don't fuck with you, bro. You a grown-ass man sitting there texting a girl all day and shit that you didn't even link or fuck. That shit sound crazy. And that's why I tell you niggas all the time, right? You shouldn't text a girl unless you check it up on her during the day or you setting up plans to link. Because they will sit there and text you for a month at a time without linking you. They don't care. They like your attention. You feed her attention. You feed her ego. That's why I tell you niggas all the time, right? We opposites for a reason, bro. A man don't require as much attention that a female needs. They need that shit. They thrive off of it. So always know when to cut off, bro. The next thing is, right? You set up a date and she flakes on you with no rain check. Because if a girl fuck with you, she'll be like, oh, listen, something came up, but I'm free tomorrow or I'm free the next day. But if she flake on you and no reschedule, that shit is just blatant disrespect, bro. She's basically saying, fuck you. I don't give a fuck. That's when you as a man, you make a decision to put her on ice. Value yourself, bro. I was always taught as a man, bro, you don't play with nobody's time. But a girl don't see it like that. They don't give a fuck. They'll flake on you and they don't give a fuck. Because they don't see things from a man's perspective, bro. A girl could crash your car and she'll be like, oh, sorry. She won't even offer to pay. I think Andrew Tate said something like that. And that shit is so true, bro. And also, guys, remember, if she flake on a date, bro, don't take it too personal, bro. There's girls everywhere, bro. Girls flake on me too. And I know all this fucking knowledge, bro. I still get flaked on. But there's girls everywhere. That's why I don't get mad. I have to abundant mindset. I don't have one I don't care how bad the bitch is. The next thing is, right, your girl wants to leave you. She don't want to be with you no more. You're going to sit there and beg her like a little bitch. Sorry, I will do whatever it takes to get you back. I will change. Nigga, respect yourself. She don't want to be with you no more, bro. Be a fucking man. I know it hurts. You don't want another man to fuck her. But another man's going to fuck her. I'm sorry. You don't want to see her with another man. But another man's going to have her soon. Bro, it's life, bro. Sometimes God put girls in your life as character development tools to build you up. That heartbreak, bro. That heartbreak you're going through right now, it's to build you up as a fucking man. Every man goes through one heartbreak. But begging somebody to stay in your life, whether it's friends, family, or a girl, are you crazy? You a grown man begging? Have a fucking backbone, bro. Y'all be disappointing the fuck out of me, bro. If I show y'all my DMs, bro, y'all be like, what the fuck? Most of these niggas got one-nighters. And I'm not mad at that, right? I just want y'all to fucking grow, bro. But y'all be like, bro, y'all don't get it. Her pussy was so tight. Her neck was crazy. It was sweat. Nigga, I don't fuck mad bad bitches with wet pussy. With tight pussy, bro. With crazy mouse. It gets better out there, bro. Believe me. She's not the best dick sucker in the world, bro. Is she Tiana Trump? No, exactly. Cut this shit, bro. Like, yeah, she was bad. The sex was good. But you forgot about the arguments. She was crazy. She used to beat on you. She cheated on you. But y'all think with y'all fucking dicks only. Y'all don't think with y'all mental. So her sex game and looks trumps all the bad shit she did to you, right? Y'all niggas gotta grow the fuck up, bro. Y'all be living on what things could have been in your head. Oh, we could have got married. We could have had kids. Nigga, it didn't happen. Move the fuck on, bro. Stop living in the fucking past. Nigga, I've been through mad girls, bro. And I, and I used to always be like, oh, she's the one. We're meant to be. Where they at now? I don't even think about them. They don't even cross my mind, my nigga. Stop putting these girls on a pedestal. The next thing is, bro, she cheated on you, bro, and you took her back. 
guy, she had another man inside her. You know when you fucking hurt them emotions, she's calling you poppy, she's mourning in your ear. She's mourning in your ear. She was doing that for another man. And most importantly, right? You know why it's worse when a girl cheats on a man? She's cheating on you with a nigga of higher perceived value in her eyes. She's cheating on you with a nigga who she knows is next. A nigga who she sees above you. Us niggas, when we cheat, it could be with an ugly bitch. And we go back to loving our girl. He cheated, he don't love me. They don't understand a man could love a female and still cheat. But when a girl cheats on you, bro, it's emotionally, bro. She's connected to this dude. She likes this dude. And last but not least, this man can walk around saying he fucked your bitch, bro. Us men, when we fuck a girl, it's like a badge of honor. She's a part of our collection. Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. Your bitch is a part of his collection. Every time he sees you on Instagram or in person, he's laughing inside. Like, nigga, I seen her. Unclothed. She was moaning for me. Even if your bitch is kissed the nigga, my nigga, your bitch still submitted to him. So if your girl cheated on you, my nigga, you took her back and you still with her right now? Rethink your life. The next thing is, you're putting in more effort than she's putting in, bro. She's not reciprocating the energy. My nigga, in life with friendships, family, your parents, your cousins, if they're not giving you the same energy back that you're giving them, bro, dub them. Cut them off. Oh, she left you on scene and delivered. That's disrespectful as shit. She opened your message, seen it, and chose not to reply. And you're going to sit there and double text. And she's going to be like, oh, I was busy. I just seen this. Nigga, she been seeing that shit, dog. Even if her red uh, receipts aren't on. Nigga, I'm busy as fuck doing one-on-one -on -one calls. At work during the day. Editing videos. Editing content. And I still make time for my roster of girls. My family and friends. So there's no fucking excuse. She playing with you. She don't want you. So guys, stop lying to yourself and eating her bullshit when she says, I was busy. You're just trying to make yourself feel better. She don't fuck with you. And the last thing is, right? Let's say you're in a talking stage, bro. Does she have goals? How does she talk? Does she talk like a man? Like saying, suck my dick, bitch ass nigga and shit like that, right? The other day I was chilling with a girl. I invited her over to my room, right? I met her on Facebook day and right? I'm not from Ohio, right? And I wanted to, yeah, yeah. Because I haven't, yeah, yeah, since December 14th. I was celibate, you know, just building myself up, right? And we're chilling and shit. You know, I'm hiking on her, joking on her. And she's like, oh, suck my dick, ha, ha. I'm like, bro, you a girl telling me to suck your dick? And I didn't even check her, because that's not my bitch. I just laughed it off like, who the fuck would wipe this shit right here? You only good for a sucking fuck. You only good for recreational use. So it's little shit like this. How does she talk? Her mannerisms. Or another time, I was talking to a girl, right? We was talking on FaceTime for like two nights, right? And back-to-back -back nights, she was chilling with her friends, and her father was watching her baby. So this means that she values partying over her fucking kid. And her fucking, gra and her fucking mommy and daddy is going to raise their grandkid. And y'all know how that goes. But yeah, that's over today, man. It's your boy, Happy Staring. Like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. Like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. Comment video ideas y'all want me to talk about. I see all y'all comments. I ain't that famous yet. And hype beast. Oh.